All right, guys, on today's video, I'm going to show you how to propagate crepe myrtles. And, you know, the crepe myrtle is a tree or a bush, depending on variety. There are varieties of crepe myrtles that get 20 to 25 feet plus tall. And then there are some much more compact varieties that only grow to maybe three feet tall. And they can be grown in a tree form or in the form of a bush, but they are extremely, extremely popular in say the southern two-thirds of the United States. With the exception of some of the more northern climates, this is a specimen of plant that thrives. And it is a spectacular summer bloomer and very popular, highly sought after, and a must-have plant for your nursery. So I wanna show you today how to propagate these. So here, here on the ground beside me is a tray of, it's a 50 count tray of plants that I propagated that we did these last summer Actually probably did them two summers ago, and this is a crepe myrtle called Natchez It's a really big tall crepe myrtle and very popular White blooming and I have let this tray just become a mess and I left it sitting here too long and it stuck to the ground Like I couldn't pull this up from the ground if I wanted to right now without just ripping these crepe myrtles up so they're kind of ruined more or less but what i see when i look over here is all these long tall beautiful stems so you can tell they're rooted into the ground to be that big in these little tray in these little cell trays but so we're going to take these and cut these up and make cuttings out of so we can turn these into uh, next year's plants and the year after that's plants and then we'll just get rid of this tray and rip it up from the ground and throw it away but we want to make sure that these don't go to waste so that's how we're going to do this today so in order to take these to make cuttings we're going to make sure that we start on this year's growth and you can look uh, right here at the tip of my clippers and you can see that green right there is this year's growth and this darker brown here is last year's growth we don't want last year's growth that's not any help to us we're going to just clip this year's growth off and we're going to take these long stems like this and turn them into cuttings and i'm going to cut most of this growth off of here except maybe the tiniest very very newest stuff that's just started in the last couple of weeks and we're going to cut all of these i call these canes i don't know what you call them branches we're going to cut all of these off of here and i'm going to show you how to make cuttings out of them i'm just going to get several of these and lay them down here and if it takes you you know if you're doing this on a particularly hot day just take these and just take these cuttings here and just put them in water and you know you don't want to just leave them you want to cut them and you want to stick them you don't want that process to take a long time you don't have a lot of time to waste because they'll wilt on you and once they wilt they're done so we're going to start with these and we'll go from there before we go and make those cuttings just a quick word from the sponsor of today's video high sea outdoors now i got a pair of boots from high sea in fact i'm wearing them now and i've been wearing them for the last several weeks and one of the things that I'm always looking for when I walk out of my house in the mornings, walking out in here, out here into the wet grass and coming out here to water my plants is something that I can slip on my feet quickly and easily and keep my feet dry while I'm watering and while I'm doing my regular morning nursery chores. And if you guys watch it or anything like me, you're always looking for a good product at a good value. Now, you can spend $100 or more on a really nice pair of boots and that's fine, but these boots are priced at around $50, and that's a really great price for what you're going to get out of these boots. Whether you got light snow on the ground, whether you got chores to do, whether it's raining, watering, or just a normal pretty day, these are a really high-quality boot. And maybe the best thing of all about them is that these boots come with a lifetime warranty, and that is really, really hard to beat. So go check out High C Boots. Check out the link in the description below, and at checkout, enter the discount code WORK15 for 15% off High C Boots. So I'm going to take this cutting and, you know, you just really have to look at it. And I don't know how to, how to explain this other than just to say that you're going to get a feel for it with time. But um, if you come in here close, I want to show you that this is unlike the hydrangea cuttings in that you need to use multiple nodes to root these. So just for the sake of an example here, I'm going to make this cutting. That looks like it's about two inches long to me. Now, it doesn't matter if it's exactly two inches long. You don't have to go and get a tape measure and measure it and all that. That doesn't matter. But we have a node here at the bottom, and then we have a node in the middle. Now, I don't, I don't need two nodes here below the leaf nodes on the top. But what I'm going to do is leave the two big leaves on the top, and I'm going to just strip off the rest of these. So you have an exposed node at the bottom. You have an exposed node here. You don't need both of those. You just need one of those. And 
I like to take these two leaves on the top and just clip them off and or clip them down to a smaller size and every one of your cuttings is not going to be exactly the same you may only have one leaf on a cutting you may only have one node at the bottom or on other varieties of crepe myrtle you may have two or three nodes at the bottom it's just you want your cutting to be about that length about that two two and a half three inch inch length something like that so a leaf or two at the top it doesn't matter don't don't get freaked out if it's one or two one or two and one or two nodes under the soil level that doesn't matter either and this is one of my 50 count cell trays here and i filled this with the mixture that i use and you can go back and look at my limelight hydrangea video so i don't have to revisit all of this for you again and again but this is just a mixture of miracle grow potting soil mix and uh, finely ground pine bark just mix it up they make great it makes a great um, media to plant or to make plugs out of so sorry i can't talk so just poke a hole in, in the middle of all these with a screwdriver or a stick or whatever you have. And then you're going to come along behind that, take your cuttings and stick them in. So I'll show you that. All right, I'd, I'd want to just take this cutting and I'm just doing this to show you that these are not all going to be exactly the same. You know, a lot of times, you know, people are getting hung up on exactly what to do with this and with that. And look, most things in plant propagation are not about exact. It's just... Here's the principle, cut the, get your cutting, strip your leaves off. See, this is gonna have a node here and then the two top leaves. So this one doesn't, this one's not gonna have, this one's not gonna have two nodes underground. It's just gonna have the one and that's fine. So or under the, uh, under the dirt. So they're all gonna be a little bit different. So you don't have to spend a lot of time making sure that you've got them perfect because perfection is not only not achievable it's not required so don't worry about it just make your cuttings keep you some some green at the top a node or two under the soil level there's going to be some variation in their length that's okay it doesn't have to be exactly three inches it doesn't have to be two you can do them shorter than that with tiny cuttings you can make them a little bit longer you don't want to make them too long though because it's going to start to produce kind of a leggy plant and you don't want your plants to be you know overly leggy looking so just there you go and just keep making them and making them and making them and next thing you know you got enough to fill up a whole a whole tree and we've got all of our cuttings made this took about 10 minutes to make the cuttings stick them in the tray we set them down over here and just like we do with any tray of cuttings that we make no matter what the plant we soak it in completely, I mean, absolutely flood the thing. And then we'll give that a minute to drain out and then we'll go put it under the mist. And you just come and sit them down here with all of our other trays of plants. I'll get a label and stick it in here so I know that these are Natchez crepe myrtles, but they will come in and join the spireas, the oak leaf hydrangeas, the limelights, and some of the other things we have going. And we'll just keep adding and adding and adding to our propagation efforts as we go through the summer. All right, guys, that's it for today's video. Just wanted to show you that crepe myrtle propagation is pretty simple and it's pretty effective to do it the way that I showed you. I appreciate y'all watching today. I appreciate High C for sponsoring today's video. I love y'all and I'll see you on the next one.